Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here I'm Steph, I'm the average artist and today we'll be looking at my sketchbook I like to do a halfway sketchbook tour because I think it gives me more time per video to talk about the sketches in my sketchbook certain reasons why I've chosen th to do things within them and I think it's like really nice to just go through it every once in a while and uh, check up how I'm doing and look at how I'm progressing as I go through my sketchbook. I think it's a really good idea to do these things and I think it might be nice for you guys as well to sort of see what I'm up to. So this is the first spread in my sketchbook. I am using the MD Midori sketchbook A4 and um, it did have a cover on it but I took that off. This is the first spread. It's kind of nice, I really like it. I was really into using, or still am really into using these brush markers that my friends got me. They got me the 48 pack and then I also bought a few more to like buff it up because I knew I was gonna be using a lot of them. So I bought like similar colors that I knew I might run out of quite quickly. So these, I took out the wedges in them and just stuffed them full of more pens because I really enjoy these. I think I like them a lot because they are really nice quality but they also have like a brush marker tip which I really enjoy using. I think it's just works really nicely and it's kind of easier to use than a nib. So I'm using that on this page but I'm also using my favourite pencils which are these um, combination of Holbein and Polychromos pencils. I think they're very similar and yeah I really enjoy them. I like to use them a lot and I bought like I have about five of these black version of the Faber Castell Polychromos and I use this black wing sharpener which is really really nice. It basically has a one-two function where it makes the pencils super super sharp and it's really nice to use. I use here, I layer down the, the brush markers first and then I sort of like go over them with the pencils sometimes or I just experiment a lot which is really nice. Because this sketchbook is really thin paper, um, I had to alternate between using the brush markers, alco markers because it would bleed through the paper and just doing like sketches on some pages. So this is kind of like some sketches because I wanted to do a paint cover of um, a paint over of Artemis Fowl at one point. I still want to do that but I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do first. Here are some experimental stuff for the comic that I'm doing. I want to do like this comic about an invisible person so I was kind of experimenting how I would show that on the paper or how I would show that in the comic and I kind of like this idea of having like a silhouette of white so it looks like there's something missing there for us but maybe the people in the comic can't actually see that but it's more of an indication for us to see what's going on also did some face studies on this side and a little thumbnail here I'm trying to be more diverse in the people that I'm drawing so I'm trying to do that a little bit more um, be more conscious of it anyway this page is just because of alcohol markers and each page I had to ignore it but I might go in and do some like sketches where I can so here is some Studio Ghibli redraws that I'm really a bit, little bit obsessed with. I made a print of this one for my patrons and then this one was kind of nice as well, just a nice study to do. I think it really helps me get into like a warm up kind of phase and I really like the way that that one turned out so obviously I made a print of it. Here is more experimenting with the styles of the pencils and the brush markers and just using that colour palette that I really like. You can see that I'm tending towards blue and pink here, which I'm trying to break out of a little bit more. Another page where everything bled through, so I had to ignore it. Here is another studio, Ghibli redraw a couple of them when Marnie was there and um, spirited away with a train. So yeah, just trying to get, again, diverse in what I'm drawing a little bit. Here is a page of my ideas for the comic through gritted teeth is going to be the title of the comic and it's going to be two like mini stories together and uh yeah so i was just writing down story beats and like maybe some sketches just to like help develop that idea a little bit along and i think i've really come to like a good a solid two good stories i was for ages trying to think of three stories and it just didn't work so i think that put like a stunt in my progression of that but I'm ready to go and do a little bit more work on that. Just trying to figure out like character design, style for the story a little bit there. Yeah. And then doing some room studies really quickly. I really like this one. I think it is kind of a different style. Yeah, just some room studies. I was thinking of what I could do for the comic. 
here I drew like a really quick stupid comic of what happened with me and Chris where he was sleeping with the cats and I was like oh so cute and then he woke up and saw me and we both scared each other more style stuff I really like the style with the like the rough uh, sketchy style of the pencil over like the smooth alcohol marker I just think it really looks nice and sometimes it works I think like here in this area it works nicely in here but maybe not so much here I'm not sure I quite like that one as well though I think I went a bit too hard with the pencil there and another girl drawing which I quite like I like the style when it's not any line if that makes sense do you know what I mean like and then a little bit of line kind of looks cool here are some concept sketches for one of the comics and the working titles which I don't think like I, this one is not the title anymore one is Mr Happiness no the thinning no I changed it at a bed of flowers I'm not sure I do have a title for that one but it's changed and then I did like the thumbnails quickly on this side of the page where you can't really see it it probably doesn't make much sense to you guys which is good because I don't want to spoil the whole story but then did more concept pieces and then here you can see some thumbnails for my book cover uh, art for To All The Boys I Loved Before you might have seen that video and here's more thumbnail sketches so more thumbnails for Fruit Gritted Teeth this one is about the invisible girl kind of thing and then yeah I was thinking of a cover there with like a skull I don't know here is some more just trying to do something a little bit different like trying to find a style like a solid style that I wanted to do for the comic this one is with inks so those colored inks um I just try to use them on the paper and be quite loose with it and then use a polychromous pencil on top and I quite like that style I think it looks quite cool and then here is another style with the alcohol markers, a little bit of ink as well. Like you can see that I've taken that ink and used it here a little bit. And I like that a lot as well. And then I got steadily into drawing more women because I really enjoy drawing women and like different fantasy outfits and things like that. I think it's just fun for me. I was thinking of the outside theme for the house of one of the stories in the comics. And I think it would look like kind of, you know, like basic house and... I was thinking that this would be the style for that and I do like it I just think it needs a little bit more of a an oomph I guess this would be just like one panel though so it's kind of it's quite nice as a panel of a comic I think I don't know you guys let me know if you like the style I definitely like it so I think that's what I'm gonna go with here's just some more sketches and doodles um, this was the book that we read for my Patreon book club we read American mm -hmm gothic and i really really like that book it was like a five star read for me really good um if you guys like sort of gothic horror it was very mild horror it wasn't like very scary it was just kind of creepy if you get me kind of like and then i was working on some styles because i want this the first comic of mine about the invisible girl to be set in sort of a edwardian time i think i mean yeah that sort of era of um, Jane Austen and <laughs> Bridgerton style I think I was working on this and then Bridgerton came out so it's kind of good to look at watch Bridgerton and get some ideas for the costumes and stuff it's quite nice so I was thinking of like different character designs for that just drawing then I redid my patron banner page here's pasta and like kind of my desk my jelly paints my coffee mug my notebooks books and stuff and I was thinking of like a p thank you sticker of pesto I wasn't really sure I, I kind of went with that for one month but it wasn't I don't know I I do like that more sketches and stuff I like to look at ASOS and just draw like the models sometimes and try to vary what kind of women I draw as well a little bit I don't want to get stuck in that sort of same face same body um, syndrome but I have definitely had that in the past so I was trying to draw a lot of different faces and just try and think of unique characters because if we have every single character look the same in the book then it would be bad because you just assume that it was the same person and stuff obviously if somebody has a certain style like that there will be like similarities between characters but yeah I was just trying to figure out like Oh, I was just doodling faces to break out of that a little bit. Doodling with inks again, I have this um, ink pen that I really like. It's like a brush ink pen from Japan. Probably seen it before. It's a Pentel one, I believe, but it doesn't say on here, but I've used like a Pentel one before. 
and I just went in and did this and then it dried and I was using alcohol markers on top. I was also experimenting with like pencils again, just, just different shading and things like that. I've used like um, a sticker that was sent to my patrons here. I don't know why, just did it. I was thinking about doing a comic about free divers and I realized that I just wanted to draw people diving and looking beautiful and floaty and airy and uh, I did that and I think I kind of got it out of my system because I wouldn't I couldn't really think of where the story would go like oh someone's free diving and then a monster is there like what what's the story there you know what I mean there's not much to tell other than just it might look good so I kind of like comics that have a little bit of a good story to back it up a little bit if that makes sense not just looking cute with some divers I don't know I, it's still a possibility that I might work on that again using the inks uh, the brush pens I really do like using that so I'm getting a bit torn whether I should use that and or like the pencil that I've been using I like both styles I did a whole graphic novel when I was in uni using this like ink um, a nib and I really enjoyed that so I don't know whether to try that out again and I really like those style I wanted to do like I've seen a lot of like Korean um, tigers floating around on the internet like um, the way that people drew um, tigers in ancient Korea and I thought they were really nice and I wanted to kind of emulate that style but in the end it didn't really amount to much I did like this quick um, not quick but like I did this sort of ink drawing and then with pencils on top I tried to make something of it I was thinking it was going to be a patron print but in the end I didn't really like it so much so I put that aside here's some more sketches here is a drawing of um, Norfolk I wanted to draw that because well my mum is sort of from that area so this is like the Norfolk broads and I thought it was just pretty I don't know why I just felt like drawing it at the time again trying to work on um, different styles so here I'm using like um, free-flowing inks and my pencils and ink and stuff and I do really like this piece I think it's very emotional and full of just feeling and energy and I really like it and I wanted it to be a patron print and in the end I kind of decided against it because I thought maybe it's not everyone's cup of tea kind of thing but I do like it here is a painting of, or a drawing rather, of Drew Barrymore in Ever After. Ever After? <laughs> I couldn't remember the name of the show then. The movie Ever After, where she's in and it's like about um, Cinderella, basically, a Cinderella retelling. And it's just really funny because like she meets Da Vinci and he, she becomes friends with him. <laughs> it's just, it's a really good film. Um, here is some other like sort of sketchy styles. I did this thumbnail for this print which is actually going to be the print for last month's um patreon reward i just need to like send this off because um at the moment we're in a hard lockdown so i can't actually get to the post office which is really unfortunate so patrons are going to get those like probably double reward one month <laughs> here's a quick co comic of kubo and the seagull um seagulls come to our balcony and he like went and ran up to it like I'll get you and then it flew away and kind of pooed on him and then he ended up in the bath <laughs> and it was a quick little comic I did because I thought it would be funny <laughs> felt a bit sorry for him here are some more kind of just expressing and like experimenting with style a little bit I was using like free ink and just trying to be a little bit more expressive with this one I do like it but maybe it's not everyone's like thing I think it's cool but I don't really like the colours and then this one is from Emma, the new Emma film. It's just a still of that and I was just copying it because obviously like I said I want to do um, a comic set in that so sort of style. Here are some rough sort of sketches. Uh, this one's kind of like a self portrait of me in Japan because I don't know why I just decided to copy that image and then I drew pasta really big here so it looks like I've got like a big cat behind me. It's kind of a rough page. Another rough page. Here are some more like doing styles of those women with um, just the alcohol markers and then going over the top with um, the pencil. And again, I do really like the style, but there's just something missing for me. I don't know. I don't know whether I like this or I prefer with the or with the ink like this. I think this one's more like appealing. I think it has more of a 
impact definitely and then this is the last drawing that i've done for my halfway tour and i think this will be a patron print as well it's a kiki delivery service re redraw i thought i said service wrong then it's a kiki's delivery service redraw and i really like it it's with um alcohol markers and the pencils again and yeah i really am gonna do my comic with these pencils and these polychromos pencils and the alcohol markers and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's my halfway sketchbook tour. Like I said, I'd like to go a little bit more in depth instead of just like flicking through really fast. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's a pretty short video because it is Chris's birthday today. So I want to spend time with him, obviously. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe for more content and I will see you next time. Bye.